So I want to start a little broad and on a topic that I know that you have an opinion about. Sure. Um, there seems to be some misconceptions about how journalists or academics or even just congressional observers at large talk about congressional power, especially vis-a-vis yeah. -vis the president. So yes. what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I think what's going on a lot in Washington right now is that there's this general concern that the uh, congressional Republicans are simply falling in line behind the president and he's kind of whipsawing them into doing whatever he wants. And uh, you see a lot of people concerned about this. You know, liberals are very concerned about oh, Trump power. But even kind of neutral observers are like, what is going on here? Why isn't Congress standing up to the president? And usually their evidence for this is something like a, a pile of roll call votes and they'll show that congressional senators vote with the president 95% mm -hmm. of the time. Uh, 538 has an entire scoring system for this, you can see. And I find this to be a very myopic view of how congressional power works or how you should think about presidential congressional power. Uh, first of all, it's not clear who's leading who. Mm -hmm. uh, if the president takes a position that the Republican Party's had for decades, for instance, in favoring tax cuts, and then all the senators vote for it, why would you ever think that that's the congressman following the president? Uh, that's some sort of assumption that there's presidential leadership going on. Uh, but a bigger p piece of it is that you know you have to ask who controls the agenda. Uh, one of the most important things in Congress is what's not voted on. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, typically roll call votes only come to the floor if the leaders believe they're going to pass. If they're not going to pass, they tend not to come to the floor. So what hasn't come to the floor so far this year? Well, a border wall with Mexico has not come to the floor. No. Protectionist trade legislation has not come to the floor. An infrastructure package has not come to the floor. And these are general Trump policies. Here. Yeah, and these Trump. are the kind of things you might associate with Trump, but not the Republicans right. in Congress. And that what we'd be looking for if we really saw the president leading the congressional Republicans. What we do see is Congress voting on things that tend to be traditional Republican policies. Mm -hmm. Trying to repeal Obamacare, that predates the president. Mm -hmm. Tax cuts and tax reform clearly predates the president. And of course you had the kind of most significant vote of the entire Congress so far, was the vote limiting the president's power over Russia sanctions. And to me, these, this looks like a situation where you have a congressional party setting the agenda, and this, this second face of power idea, that it's not simply how you vote on something, it's what you vote on, uh, and the president kind of leading along. I thought during the, the health care debate, the president was kind of just agreeing to whatever they put on the floor iteratively. First he liked the House bill, then he liked the skinny repeal, then he liked the compromise, now he likes Murray Alexander. This looks like someone following, not someone leading.